This video describes the process for fueling vehicles with active LNG tanks. They're called active tanks because of the pump inside the tank that feeds fuel to the engine. These tanks do not have an external venting port, and the driver's side tank usually has two side-by-side -side fueling ports and fuel tank pressure gauges. It can take several minutes to prepare the station for dispensing fuel, so you may want to call ahead and have the Blue Network Operations Center start the preparations before you arrive. Fueling an LNG-powered vehicle is not complicated, but LNG is stored at very cold temperatures, so you want to take a few precautions. Contact with extremely cold fuel or metal surfaces can cause freeze burns to expose skin. To protect yourself from the cold fuel and surfaces, you'll wear some personal protective equipment. A face shield or spoggles protect your eyes from potential but unlikely releases of the super cold vapor or liquid. Thermally insulated gloves make it possible to handle the cold hoses and valves. A long sleeve shirt, long pants, and leather shoes are recommended to protect your skin from accidental exposure. Before you begin, be sure the driver's side tank is close enough that you don't need to stretch or bend the hose to reach the fueling ports. Use the compressed air hose hanging on the dispenser and spray the fueling ports to remove any moisture or debris. Debris or moisture in these ports can cause leaks and unnecessary wear on the equipment. Also use the air hose to clean the fueling nozzle. Then attach it to the first fueling port by depressing the red safety lever if there is one and pulling the butterfly handles all the way back. Carefully slide the nozzle onto the fueling port and then push the handles all the way forward. Your fuel tanks are well insulated and can keep LNG fuel in a liquid state for a week or more. But eventually the temperature of the fuel will start to increase. As it does, it converts the liquid fuel to vapor and increases the pressure in the tank. One of the first things you'll want to do is check the tank pressure on the gauge or gauges on the fuel tank shroud. If pressure is above 150 psi, you should remove some vapor from the tank before adding the fuel. To remove pressure, open the tank cover and turn the green vent to station valve counterclockwise to open it. Natural gas vapor will begin venting back to the station through the fueling hose. Close the vent valve when the pressure gets down to about 130 psi. Now you're ready to start filling your tank. Press the LNG button on the dispenser. Fuel will begin circulating from the storage tank through the dispenser to cool it. When it's sufficiently cooled, fuel will begin flowing to your vehicle. The dispenser will automatically shut off when the tank is full. If pressure rises above a specified level in the tank, the dispenser will shut off even though the tank is not full. If this happens, vent the tank back to 130 psi again and press pause resume to restart the fueling. When the dispenser shuts off and the tank is full, wait a minute or so before removing the nozzle to allow dispenser pressure to drop below 90 psi. Then open the handle slowly to prevent an unexpected release of fuel and to prevent damage to the nozzle. When the handles are about half open, press the red safety lever, if there is one, to disconnect the nozzle from the tank. If the second tank is also above 150 psi and needs fuel, attach the fueling hose to its port, go around to the passenger side of the truck, remove the shroud cover, and open its vent to station valve. Close the valve when the pressure gets down to about 130 psi and press the pause resume button. The dispenser will again cool to the required temperature and fuel will start flowing to the tank. When you finish fueling, again let the pressure dissipate before removing the nozzle. Use the compressed air to remove frost from the nozzle and then return it to its receptacle. Finally, Spray the frost off the fueling ports and put the dust caps back on with a push and a twist. As you get to know your vehicle, you may find that it varies somewhat from the general standards outlined in this video. You'll also find that LNG fueling is safe and easy when you follow the recommended procedure. 